It doesn't get any better than this. The oldest tourist attraction in all of Mono County. I really wish that you could smell what I smell right now. Between the sage and this lavender, it is absolutely breathtaking. Can't say enough good things about these great people and Subaru in general. It's the oldest settlement in Nevada. Oh my, isn't this awesome? We're gonna do this like we used to do it, guys. Remember, Dad used to read us all these signs. You, are you gonna? Are, <laughs> she says, I'm, I'm not interested. Well, you and Sam are sure having a good time together. Yeah. Hi, Sam. All right, Mickey, you want to get in there, huh? Isn't this so cool? And the kids love this. We, have, we always ask the kids, did you find the upside down mouse that the cat's hunting? And they get all excited. When the cat's down. right there. There's the cat. And where is the upside down mouse? Okay, well, look at the cat's eyes. Oh, I think I already spotted him, but I'm gonna let you guys. I know I spotted him. He's looking this way. Bum, bum, bum. Do you mind if I put it on camera real fast? Sure. Remind me your first name again, I'm sorry. Robin. Robin, Cassidy. and you and you were part of the board that runs? The, the Mono Basin Historical Society. Thank you so much for spending time with us. I got so lucky because Robin here saw us just poking <laughs> around. They weren't even open and she came over and opened up this yes. cool, cool, the oldest. The oldest tourist attraction in Mono County. Very cool. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> I appreciate welcome. you. You're <laughs> welcome. So life in Eastern Sierra, though very rugged and beautiful and remote, can be inconvenient at times, especially when you need your routine maintenance done. So I'm headed to Carson City today to get the routine maintenance done here on the cross track, my Subaru cross track you know I love. And that's about a two and a half to three hour drive north. So let's see what we can get into along the way and have a little bit of fun. As we say, do fun shit. Don't let the day get away. Now on a number of occasions I've driven by this stand right here. And uh, and recently I saw a post on Facebook promoting these lavender bundles. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna pull in here and grab some fresh lavender. I have been wanting to stop by here and grab some lavender the last couple times I drove. Uh, oftentimes I'm just in too much of a hurry or uh, on the way to an appointment up north or coming back down south. Either way, I'm so glad uh, I stopped by. And I really wish, um, I really wish that you could smell what I smell right now. Between the sage and this lavender, it is absolutely breathtaking. And the aroma unbeatable. I'm so glad that I stopped here. I think the extra push I got when I saw that Facebook post really helped push me along. So keep that in mind. When you're on the socials, reach out to me. Send me some links. Share with me some stuff that you would like me to see, to visit, and to share with you. I'm more than happy to do it. And you know, I'm traveling the state quite a bit. So thank you for the lavender bundle. This is going to go very well in the van. Super Everybody's so nice to you, huh? Yeah. 
Are you thirsty? You good? Yeah? That's my baby girl. Well, we braved the traffic, brakes, construction stops, made the three and a half to four hour drive north here to Carson to the Michael Hole Subaru and one of the best Subaru dealerships I've been to anywhere on the West Coast. Well, there we are. Michael Hole Subaru, one of the best dealerships around on the West Coast. My favorite dealership in all of Nevada. And they take really good care of me here. And they take really good care of Mickey too. So can't say enough good things about these great people and Subaru in general. If anybody from Subaru is out there watching, hey, let's make a deal. I love my car. This is historic Genoa, Nevada. And according to the sign, the oldest settlement in Nevada. Apparently Native Americans don't count. <laughs> Either way, this was the first place where the white folks came uh, and settled amongst these beautiful hills in this beautiful, beautiful edge of the valley. And if you have never been here, I highly recommend it. A lovely place to stop and a great place for Mickey and I to stretch our legs. You know I like to do that. This type of wagon is known as a prairie schooner, designed to be as light and agile as possible. Prairie schooners were the wagon of choice for immigrants traveling across the California Trail. The name stems from the white canvas covers giving the appearance of ships sailing on the prairie from a distance. Well, you know how much I love history and visiting wonderful, weird, and out of the way places, but it's not just this historic site that brings me here to Genoa, Nevada. No, 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 you know there must be an ulterior motive. That ulterior motive is not only the oldest settlement in all of Nevada, but how about the oldest bar in all of Nevada? The Genoa Thirst Parlor. The oldest bar in all of Nevada. Oh my, isn't this awesome? You know I love bars like this. The Genoa Thirst Parlor, the oldest bar in all of the bottom. That's another story for another time. We'll definitely be back. Right, little girl? Right? The Genoa Bar. Thirst parlor, the oldest thirst parlor in all of Nevada. I hope you understand why I cannot shoot too much of the inside because we want to respect the patrons and their privacy, if you will. But man, needed to wet my whistle. Can't think of a better place to do it than the thirst parlor. Remember, when you're out there driving, keep it between the lines and look out for Smokey because they're looking out for you. And as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you. Presumably, this is The Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, keep those comments coming. I do love hearing from you, and I do love you. Much love, everybody. And stay tuned. We'll see you next week right here, only on YouTube in the Vic Meyer Show.
Oh, mm -hmm.